The FB-22, a proposed long-range fighter bomber based on the F-22 Raptor, but it was ultimately canceled in 2006 due to shifting military priorities. While it shared similarities with the GSAP, a sixth-generation jet designed by the UK, Italy and Japan, the FB-22 project itself is not set to come into reality as it was formally discontinued years ago. Instead, the focus has shifted to other advanced systems like the GSCAP in the US. B-21 Raider Strategic Bomber, which address modern defense needs in different ways. The Global Combat Air Program, GSAP, a collaboration among the UK, Italy and Japan, aims to revolutionize air warfare with a sixth generation stealth fighter that prioritizes range, speed and payload over traditional maneuverability. Unveiled at the 2024 Farnborough Air Show, the GCAP's wide delta wing design focuses on stealth and long-range attack, a departure from agility-focused models. This innovative aircraft, resembling the proposed but canceled FB-22 Bomber Raptor, is optimized for stealth and standoff weapons, making it a formidable asset in modern high-stakes conflicts. Equipped with cutting-edge tech like adaptive cycle engines, virtual cockpit displays, and AI-managed loyal wingman drones, GCAP is a nod to the future, where advanced sensors and networked combat matter more than close dogfights. The project, targeting production by 2035, allows the GCAP countries more flexibility than U.S.-restricted F-35s, supporting domestic missiles like the MBDA Meteor and Japan's ASM-3. Manufacturing of a test demonstrator is underway, with plans to fly by 2027. GCAP's focus on stealth, payload, and endurance may be setting a new standard in air combat, reviving concepts from the cancelled FB-22 while pushing innovation forward. The FB-22 was an exciting concept in the world of military aviation, designed as a long-range fighter bomber that built on the strengths of the F-22A Raptor while aiming to push beyond its limitations. This vision brought some major design changes all geared towards creating an aircraft capable of handling extended missions with ease and precision. One of the first and most noticeable modifications was to the wings. Imagine the sleek F-22, but with broader, true delta wings that expanded to three times the surface area of the original. This was more than just a cosmetic change, it was an essential upgrade. With these larger wings, the FB-22 could fly further and stay airborne longer. This added lift and improved fuel efficiency, allowing it to carry a heavy payload deep into enemy territory ideal for long-range operations. The designers didn't stop with the wings. They also equipped the FB-22 with larger internal weapons bays. These bays were designed to hold up to 15,000 pounds of weapons and impressive load that would allow the jet to carry a mix of air-to-air -air missiles and ground attack munitions. This wasn't just about packing more firepower. It was also a stealth strategy. By storing weapons internally, the FB-22 could avoid mounting them on external hardpoints, which would have made it more visible to enemy radar. This increase in internal payload was crucial for extended missions, where the aircraft needed both range and firepower to be a game-changer in modern combat. A unique addition to the FB-22 was the inclusion of a weapon systems officer, WSO, alongside the pilot in the cockpit. Think of it as having a co-pilot who specializes in managing the complex array of weapon systems, freeing the pilot to focus on flying. The WSO's presence was especially valuable for lengthy missions, allowing the crew to take shifts and coordinate complex strike strategies. This change acknowledged the demands of long-range operations, where an extra set of eyes and hands could make all the difference. Another standout feature of the FB-22 was its extended combat radius. The aircraft was designed with a range of around 2100 miles, three times that of the original F-22. This extension enabled it to reach targets much further afield without refueling, a critical advantage for operations deep in enemy territory. Being able to strike from such a distance allowed the FB-22 to hit key targets while staying well out of reach of enemy defenses. In today's warfare, this ability to stand off and engage from afar is more important than ever, giving the aircraft a safer approach to hostile zones. To meet these range and payload demands, the FB-22 had to make a trade-off. It swapped out the thrust vectoring engines of the F-22 for fixed F-135 turbofans, which provided greater thrust for long-range flights, but sacrificed some maneuverability.
With this change, the FB-22 could only handle up to 6 Gs compared to the F-22's 9 Gs. In other words, it gave up some agility in favor of fuel efficiency and range and intentional choice that aligned with the shift in air combat towards long-range engagements over close-range dogfights. In terms of role, the FB-22 was envisioned as a complement to the F-22's air-to-air focus, but it could handle both air-to-air and surface attack missions. This dual capability was increasingly relevant in modern combat, where air superiority and ground attack roles often overlap. The FB-22 was designed with the flexibility to adapt, making it a well-rounded choice for both striking targets on the ground and engaging enemy fighters in the air. Despite its forward-thinking design, the FB-22 faced an uphill battle. Military priorities in the early 2000s were centered on counterinsurgency efforts in Iraq and Afghanistan, where an advanced stealth bomber wasn't seen as a top necessity. Ultimately, the program was canceled in 2006, with F-22 production scaled back drastically from an original plan of 500 aircraft to just 187. The FB-22's cancellation reflects how shifting defense priorities and budgets can reshape even the most promising military projects. The FB-22 was a fascinating take on the future of long-range fighter bombers. From its extended wings and increased weapon capacity to the added weapon systems officer and expanded range, the FB-22 was packed with innovative features designed to meet the needs of evolving air combat. Its balanced role in both air-to-air -air and ground missions marked a significant attempt to adapt to the fluid demands of modern warfare. While the FB-22 ultimately didn't reach production, it serves as a glimpse into the possibilities of future fighter-bomber platforms and the ongoing quest for versatility in combat aircraft.